I almost lost my life three times. I wasn't ready to die. So I discovered how I can save my own life. As a result, Diane's Call Natural Living Lifestyle Show was created. So let's answer the call to make our health a priority. Diane's Call. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Diane's Call Natural Living Lifestyle Show. Tell you what, I am so excited because I am in one of my most favorite places in the world, and that is the kitchen. I, I have a love affair with food. And everyone always says, what are you eating? And it's hard to eat healthy. And today we're going to just squash that because it's not true. So many easy ways, and we're going to do our best to give at least three or four, maybe five different ways. Don't want to overwhelm you, but want to show you how quick and easy it is to eat delicious, nutritious, fun food at a reasonable cost. And we're going to start out with one of my most popular, famous, world-class dishes, and guess what it is? It's the raw Collard green salad. Collard greens can be eaten several ways. And the foods that I have today, we can do multiple things with them. You know, sometimes I think food is like dating for me. Um, I like uh, variety. I like eventful. I like spicy. So we have a lot of spices. That enhances the flavor of the food. And uh, again, we're going to have a good time. So let me start first with the raw collard green salad. Now, another thing about me, oh, I got to tell you this. When you're cooking in the kitchen, again, we want to make it a fun date. I always hydrate. I either have some water. Majority of the time I have water or I drink, of course, Bonita's hibiscus ginger tea. So I'm going to take a sip right now. Mm. Good to me. Good for you. So the collard green salad, the ingredients. I love all fresh ingredients, but you can, if you don't want to use fresh lemons, you can buy lemon juice. It's okay, because some people, you know, they're crunch for time. But again, with me, I love all fresh ingredients. So the raw collard green salad. Again, we're gonna start out with this delicious custom cut. Oh, by the way, I have someone who cuts my collard greens and my collards for me. Big Mike, shout out to Big Mike. These are custom cut collard greens that are grown in South Carolina. We will also put some garlic in our collard green salad. I have minced the garlic. Collard greens, lemon juice, garlic, little bit of olive oil, some liquid aminos. You need a little bit of salt to bring out the flavor. And then the most I'm going to say the secret sauce to this raw collard green salad is sesame seed oil. It is lovely. It just takes this collard green salad to another level. Oh, one more ingredient, red onions. Speaking of onions, there are three types. So with this cooking class, I want to, you know, give you some basics about food. We have the yellow or brown onion, the red onion, and the white onion. I like them in different foods. Some foods I don't like my red. Some foods I must have the white. The red has the most nutrition because of the color. So today with the raw collard green salad, we are going to use the red, but when I saute the collard greens, we're gonna use the white. Again, that's for the flavor. So let's get started. We're gonna start with our first ingredient, the raw collard greens. So you want, you could do maybe a head or two. Collard greens, next, I like to put my lemon juice. Again, you can buy um, lemon juice that's already juiced or you can juice it yourself. I have this um, kitchen equipment where I juice my lemon. So I just do it like this. 
and I have fresh lemon juice. So I put the lemon juice over the collard greens, just need a little bit. Then some fresh minced garlic. You can do it with your knife, but of course, because I love the kitchen, I have a kitchen gadget and I just mix it like this, very fine. I also do that with my onions. So we have two in three ingredients now. We have the collard greens, we have the fresh garlic, the lemon juice, and now we're gonna do some red onions. And you don't have to use all of these ingredients, but all of these ingredients just makes it so lovely. So I am going to dice. Again, you can do this with a knife very easily. And it creates such a wonderful smell. So some of you may say, how much? You didn't measure. Um, another reputation I have is I'm an unmeasured cook. I don't measure anything. I eyeball it. I put a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Sorry, y'all. That's how I do it. Get mad at me. It'll be okay. Next thing, olive oil. So I put a little olive oil, just a little bit. And next, some liquid aminos. A little bit of that. And last thing, the secret sauce, which is the sesame seed oil. Now what the lemon juice is gonna do, it's going to break this salad down. So you can see that it feels and looks like a lot, but in about five minutes that is going to come down. So remember, being in the kitchen, pretend it's a date, and you're dealing with fresh ingredients because when you're on the date, you want to feel fresh and look fresh and be fresh. So isn't that lovely? The raw collard green salad. So also remember when we're on a date, we like to look pretty. So I'm going to put this in a pretty bowl. And you can add any other thing that you'd like. If you want to add some tomatoes, some peppers, you're also welcome to do that. I'm going to put some of these colored bell peppers again colors our onions are colors also our peppers are colors voila just cutie pie all the way Yum. our next dish Healthy, easy, quick, three bean salad. You know, to make things easy with me, I kind of use the same um, base or ingredients a lot. And that's onions and garlic goes in almost everything that I cook because of the medicinal purposes. Um, you know, it helps to alleviate colds and flu. And I don't know when to let. Maybe 2008, I think, was the last time I had a cold or I think I was catching something of the flu. No more, because I make sure that I eat a lot of garlic and a lot of onions. Now, how does that affect you when you're on a date? Hmm. There is a way. If you take garlic peels or tablets, that will alleviate some of the smell. The three beans that we have today are kidney beans. You can eat them. Now, I love to cook my beans, dry beans, but for sake of convenience and time, you can buy them canned and just rinse them off because I know some of us have kids and we work all the time and we just don't have time. So if you don't have time, buy the can, but I prefer that you get them dry and soak them. We have northern beans, kidney beans, and black beans, three different types of beans. And I'm gonna do it pretty much like I did the raw collard green salad for ease and consistency. I have my onions, my red onions and my garlic. It's already chopped. I'm gonna put that in there. Some fresh tomatoes, put those in there. And I am going to add some bell peppers since I already have some cut. 
get my little cutter. Again, you can do it with a knife. Since I'm in the kitchen so much, I invest in kitchen equipment. Okay, so I'm gonna put these peppers in here. Isn't that pretty? Colors, color, colors. I also have some cilantro and parsley that I am going to add. One of the things that I love to add to this particular dish is the white onion. So I'm going to use the white onion. So some of you may say, how do you do that? It makes my eyes water. It makes mine water too. But I just get used to it. I've tried many ways to, there are many ways they say to do it so that you don't cry, but I haven't found any of those to work. So, ooh, the tears are coming. All right, it's done. So I'm gonna put some of that in this salad. And of course, I'm gonna add some of my lemon juice that I've already juiced. And some olive oil. And last but not least, I'm not gonna put any sesame oil in it, but you know what, that might be good. Put some of this, just a little bit of that. And you know, I have some other spices, so I like to play around. This is a little, just a dash of cayenne. Ooh -wee. Now that is already pretty and I haven't even started to mix it up. So I'm going to just mix it up. And if there's any other thing you'd like to add, please do. All right. Now, after about an hour or so, the flavors really, really, really marinate, and it is even better. We're going to end it. Put some more tomatoes on the top. There you go. Three bean salad. Yum, yum. Our next dish, my favorite, my favorite, my favorite, is green beans. When I was a little girl, my grandmother, every Sunday after church, she would make me a big pot of green beans and potatoes. So how could I not have green beans in our segment? Yes, I'm eating and talking at the same time. It's so good. These green beans are, some people say green beans, some people say string beans. They are raw and you can eat string beans raw. So what I did was I just washed them real good and I snapped them. Then my favorite go-to, sesame seed oil. I put some sesame seed oil on it, on them. And that was it. You can let them sit for a while or you can garnish or put some other things on it. For me, I eat them raw. Again, they can stay in the refrigerator up to three days with just some sesame seed oil, or you can saute them. When I cook my vegetables, I don't cook them for a very long time. Just put a little bit of heat on them, take them out of the pan, and they're ready. But again, this is fresh, haven't been cooked by itself. But let's play around a little bit. Let's put some nice bell peppers. Um, I'm just going to cut it up with a knife to show you that you can do it with a knife. Just keeping everything eased. Put this on it for color and more nutrition. I do like pretty food. And I'm proud to say when I was in middle school, I used to make sandwiches for the neighborhood because I make the best sandwiches in the world. And I make the best green beans in the world too. Look at that. Pretty, delicious, nutritious, and most of all, easy and convenient. Next, we're going to saute some spinach. Very easy to do. A little oil. Any oil is fine. My favorite. The onions, again, just adds another flavor and it's so easy to do. 
This time I'm gonna put the different colored peppers, the red, the yellow, and the orange peppers. Gonna let this cook a little bit, crystallize a little bit. I just wish you could smell this. It smells absolutely wonderful. Okay, got one more there. And all I'm gonna do, the spinach has been washed really good because again, the children grew it in their garden so it had some dirt on it. Natural food is supposed to have dirt. And sometimes you can find a little worm on things because if the worms don't want to eat it, we don't want to eat it. And our last ingredient is smoked paprika. This smoked paprika takes things to a new level. So I'll just put a little bit on top. Then I'm gonna flip the spinach a little bit. I got know I got a lot in this pan. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Just gonna flip it. Oh, I'll just put it back in there. Put the top on it. Let it cook for a few minutes and then it's done. Two minutes, flip, and it's ready. Next, we're going to saute our collard greens. So put a little bit of olive oil, or if you have some vegetable oil, put a little bit in the bottom of the pan and for sauteing, I like to, or for cooking, I prefer white onions. Get that sizzle. You know, just sauteing white onions or any onions makes the house smell so lovely. I might as well add some color. Put a few, few bell peppers since I'm already over here. So what I do is I, I let it crystallize a little bit. Want those onions to saute. And then what I do is very simple. I just take some of the collard greens. I just sit it on top. Sit it on top like that. Leave the onions on the bottom. And then I'll put a top on it. Let it... Um, Saute for a little bit, flip it, and that's it. Our collard greens are now ready. Delicious. I love white rice, but it's not the best thing for me. So I had to find an alternative. And the best alternative that I found is cauliflower. Cauliflower rice. Once again, I can eat it raw, but I choose to saute it. Little olive oil, just a little bit at the bottom. And it's so easy. Just put it in the pan. You are welcome to add any other spices to it. The only two things that I use is olive oil and a little bit of sesame oil. Sometimes I may add some salt and pepper, and that's it. Next thing you know, it's already done. Up to five minutes. I found this wonderful fruit called jackfruit and uh, decided to cook it. Jackfruit is rich in minerals and vitamins, low in cholesterol, and it is a good cleanser. So you can eat it raw, or I like to saute it. Very simple, once again, just a little oil. I'm gonna put some heat on my stove. Many things you can do with the jackfruit. You can make a sandwich because it really does taste like barbecue. 
I like to use a mustard base barbecue for it. Some people like a honey base, but it's too sweet for me, so I use a mustard base barbecue sauce. I like to cook my jackfruit about 30 to 35 minutes because I like for it to have a crispy taste, and I call it barbecue jack. After we've prepared our jackfruit, we're going to show you our lovely, delicious, nutritious, and most of all, beautiful dishes that we have prepared today. Voila. Look at all of the beautiful dishes that we have created in less than an hour. We have cauliflower that was sauteed and some sesame seed oil. We have the beautiful jackfruit that was cooked um, on the stove. We also have the raw three bean salad. The beans are cooked, but I'm saying raw because we put some cilantro, we put some parsley and added some tomatoes, and this is a three bean salad. Then we have some sauteed collard greens. Again, we have a lot of color to make it beautiful and more nutritious. Next, spinach that was grown by the children in Columbia, South Carolina at Richland One School District the green bean salad, no heat to the beans at all, and the famous collard green salad that everyone loves, so simple and easy to make. Look at how gorgeous these seven dishes look. We're gonna top them off with a sip of Bonita's Hibiscus Ginger Tea. Thank you for watching another episode of Diane's Call Natural Living Lifestyle Show. Bon appetit!